Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is now looking at the earth element or the dirt element, whatever you want to call it, soil. I don't care. Um, today's video will kind of try to speed up the overall walkthrough thing, I guess, because the last two videos were a combining of 50 minutes. So I hope to not take that long again. One thing I like to mention is that on my Twitch live stream, I will be doing Bahamut trains, Bahamut high level and I'm considering doing Akasha. So if you wanna join and share your host, feel free. Uh, you can join via the description down below. I have my Twitch link. Or if you want to get notified, I do I do notify on Discord. So that's an option for people who are wondering. Anyways, let's get on to the dirt element. Now, as I mentioned, I'm trying to go through it a little bit faster. So let's first take a look at the Yggdrasil's build. An earth element setup centered around SR weapon. Use this as a jumping point. Zero, zero, zero. All of them zero. It's no point. It's a waste of your time. Six magna weapons, two EX, Seraphic, and your main hand. Honestly, same grid. It's probably the same grid for each LD now. So I'm not too surprised about it. It all applies the same way. Just ignore it. It's not worth investing into, even as a new player. Now, the first real build here is the Yig Drassel's Omega build. Works best with Yig Drassel's Omega weapons. Get them from Yig Drassel's Omega raids. Offense is one, defense is one, effort is one, in my opinion. So we have here a mixer of the swords and the staffs. Honestly, this is pretty much optimal in terms of progression. Unless you are very lucky with swords, you can fill your grid up with the staffs as a placement holder. Honestly, you're going to end up dropping most of these weapons anyway when you hit Magnet 2. So going full swords is not a priority. Um, this is perfectly fine. It'll get you through the content. And that's good enough, honestly, in my opinion. You still have the two EX here. I don't believe there's any other EX besides Compound Bow. Um, this bow is from Platinum Sky. I swore there was another EX for dirt. I think cook, uh, cook, uh, Cookaroo, whatever her name's event, right? I think. Um, I could be, oh, you know why? It's not rerun. It's not in the side story. That's why I'm guessing. There's really no earth weapons in the side story but other than compound bow? I didn't know that. Also, we have the Bahamut weapon as usual and the Seraphic weapon. Main hand, Yig Sword, probably all the weapons from Magna Raids and the um, uh, side stories and the special quests. Wow, Earth has no options, dude. Holy, oh brother. Wow, Earth has no options. Okay, rest in peace, Earth players. You're probably gonna play. This is proof that Earth didn't get nothing. Oh, that's kind of, kind of a, skip that by mistake. Um. Other than that, that's, I think that grid was perfectly fine. It's the standard build. I ain't got much to complain about it. Now we're on to the actual high level builds. Yig Dressel's Omega build two. Offense is three, should be two. Defense is two. I think it should be, yeah, I think that's fine. Effort is three, should probably be two. Um, an enhanced version of the Yig Dressel's Omega build. Boost your attack power even more. I'm guessing Medusa Harp maybe? The Medusa Harp is more of a one-turn weapon. Uh oh, okay. So what they did here, they went more swords. Um Honestly, it's okay with me, to be honest. I can't complain much about it. I think it's a waste of time if you're fully breaking the swords though. Um generally you're gonna end up dropping the swords for the katanas from Alex Raid. So, I mean, you can run the swords if you want, but generally you end up dropping them. So, I don't know. It's all about how much quartz you're okay with farming. Uh, I know that players that now in the game have been complaining quite a bit about their quartz. So, I don't know if it's the best, the best way to go now in 2019. When you're so, at this point in the game, you're so close to Alex. Because to, to get this, you need to clear Alex high level, right? So... I don't know if it's full limit breaking them is really the best way to go. It, it I guess it, it depends. I, I would tell people to full limit break them, 
but I understand why a player would not form a break thumb because it is very quartz heavy, especially on earth. You do need quite a bit of quartz. So I can understand why they wouldn't do it. So this grid, it's okay. I think it's fine. Um, the main hands are what? DW dagger, Gilgamesh spear. We know what that does. Battle axe. The main hands, like, these main hands are real questionable. Extra, uh, yeah, yeah. The main hands are pretty, ugh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Earth players, the, the main hands, no good. No good. Um, they did put the Celestial Spear in here. I think it comes with crit and double attack rates. So that's okay, I guess. I actually don't know much about this build in 2019 because I haven't ran it in 2019. Two Zenos, the Bahamut and Strafic Weapon. Pretty much cookie cutter grid. I don't think it's worth farming though. Um, if you still end up having these these weapons, right? That's fine. But I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to farm like five swords. It's, an, it's not really worth it. You probably end up getting them anyway from Alex. Cause they do, Alex drops Magna 1 weapons, right? I'm pretty sure it does. I had to flip. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. It's weird. Back in the day when I had this grid, you, you probably seen it from my old videos. I have to have this grid before Alex. So it made more sense for me cause I already had the weapons done. But for a newer player, I feel like it's not nearly as important because of Alex being a thing. And I'm, I'm going to assume that Omega build three, which we're going on to now, offense four, defense three, effort four. I feel like this would be defense four, effort three. Um, This build uses Alex Regulo's weapons, boost HP and critical hit rate. So this is definitely the three, three build, very common build, right? Three, oh, three, two, yeah, because now we have the Opus. You notice that they really are putting in Opus for the good grids. Notice how the fire grid did not have an Opus because the grid is really bad. But yeah, this is perfectly optimal. I ain't got nothing, I literally have nothing to say. Three axes is fine, two katanas is fine, and your Opus, this is about as good as it's going to get. I have, this is what's going to be running for Earth Magna. Um, I ran this for a long time without the Opus, obviously, because there was no Opus back then. The one Zeno, the Bahamut, um, and the Strafic Weapon. Looks good enough to me. I literally have no nothing to say about this grid. Other than the main hands are questionable. I feel like the... Uh, I personally believe you should run Ultima Sword for Earth as an option. Um, even... Depending on the content, Zeno is also a good main hand. Depends on the content. If you're like usually doing like you buy a high level, fa high level, the Zeno is a great main hand. Um, other than that, not that even Akasha. Akasha is also a decent main hand. Um, DW dagger is it's okay. You don't really have much dagger options in Earth, unfortunately. Axe, you have no. Don't do this. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Uh, should be uncap, uncap fist. Other than that, uh, oh, another thing in low defense content, you can replace the Bahamut with the uncap fist. So this is something you want to keep note of that you can replace it. Okay. I feel Earth is a little bit more simpler because these build are build I've ran. Um, so it's not that bad. I've already done plenty of videos on them. Those minus 2019 for obvious reasons, right? Anyways, let's get on to the Titan builds. Titan build, offense four, defense two, effort four. What, what build is this? Doesn't, is it the Titan bow build? Uh, build powered by Titan's aura? Gather a primal weapon by fighting. Oh, it is. It is Bal. The reason I thought it was Bal build because defense is two. So it has to be low health, right? So I'm guessing a couple guns, some axes maybe, and a vol gun maybe? Hmm, let's see. So we have four axes and one gun. Now, this is more, this is my most old school grid. I made this grid in 2016. Um, yeah, 20, yeah, 2016. 
Uh, I hated people who did Balfest. If you are a person who played around Balfest, you're a bad person, dude. You should have played GW like me. I'm mad at you. They didn't. They didn't give no refund for that. I oh, I remember that. Oh, I got me so mad. I was playing GW like a good boy, and everybody giving me like quadruple temp time, 10x drop rates, finishing your grid in, a, in like a, a couple of days. Oh, I hated Balfest so much. Whew. Bad memories, dude. Um, in terms of this grid, though, this grid is not worth it in 2019. Don't build Titan for this grid. It's legit. No, you, they play Magna. Play Magna. Magna is better than this grid. That's all I'm going to say. You're wasting your time. You, you're literally making yourself weaker to play this grid. You have less health. You do less damage. You have more time wasted on this cruddy grid. It's not good. It shouldn't even be an option here because it's that bad of a grid when Magna Earth stomps it. It wrongful stomps it right now. Now, this could change. No, it's not, but it, it could change if we get content where this grid can work. But currently, there's no content in the game where this grid is even viable. You can talk about A or all you want. I don't care. Um, you're legit wasting your time with this grid. So I have nothing to say about that. Probably ultimate each main hand, right? Yeah, wait, like, it's not even it's not worth talking about. It's, it's that bad of a grid. Uh, it's not it does not perform that well. So just don't worry about it. They play Magna. And let's talk about Titan build two. Offense five, defense three, effort five. What build is this? AK? An enhanced version of Titan's build upgraded with grand weapons. As they mentioned grand weapons, that means that you're going to have money in this build. So throw out your, whoa, this is actually a good build. This is the optimal build for, well, excluding this weapon. This was the optimal build and the Opus. This was the optimal build for um, you Baja high level for Earth. So this is definitely keyword. Listen to what I said. This was the optimal build for you Baja high level. Um, Salt, DJ Salt, if you watch any of his videos, he read this build. So this is like perfectly fine. Um, 2019, not nearly as much. I feel like this grid has fallen off, right? Um, so if I was anyone who was farming this, I would not tell you to build it because in 2019, it's just not worth a damn. Uh, honestly, it's just literally not worth it. It's, this is too many bars for too little value. So honestly, this is something you skip over. It's not good. It was good in a time a couple years ago. I mean, a year ago, I believe in 20, 2018, it was good. But in 2019, it's not worth a damn. Unfortunately, you do have things like time coming around that makes this grid even worse. It's not a bad grid to say. It's just that it has no place right now in the game. So it's unfortunate, but I, I would tell people just to skip this grid. The problem being that is that a midi on Earth is just not that viable. Um, it, it can work in certain scenarios, but honestly, it's just not that viable for majority of players. And because stamina works so easily on Earth, you have a ton of defense buffs on Earth. It's a lot easier just to play stamina and just not have to worry about taking damage. Thanks to characters like Summer Alex, then running a midi and getting your health low enough to be good enough to do decent damage. So while well, I think this grid is fine, it just doesn't have any place right now in the game. What is, what is this like one two three four five six weapons if you're not lucky enough to fall, pull dupes of them six weapons that's 18 bars it's not worth it what's a good grid though it's definitely on this account just so you guys know if you guys were thinking hey can you do videos of the grids i'm considering it um after i finish with the series i'll see what people want and um we can get it done it's right here the exact same weapons all of them here. So, man, let's do Earth. If you guys want to see it in action, I can do that for you. But honestly, it's not worth the investment. It was good, but it's not good anymore.
Next, we're on to the Titan Stamina build. Offense max, defense three, again, effort five. Um, this Titan build is centered around the stamina scale, make use of Ichigo's Hito Fury. So this is gonna be, I'm guessing a build kind of similar to the um, fire build. Yeah, waste, it's waste. Um, this grid is total waste of time. Um, this grid will only really see benefit out of the one build in the game that runs the Zeta, Halloween Zeta, Vasharaga, and Kaim. Other than that, no other grid would really, no other team comp would run, want to run this build, unfortunately, because Kaim exists. So, you, you, you can go, I believe there's a video of somebody doing this. Um, but the damage output is minuscule compared to the Kime build. So the only situation where it does beat out Kime is the um, if you're maining Kime with Zeta and Basharaga. So it's just, it's just a copy and paste of the build from Fire. I think this build would be fine, honestly, in, in 2019 if there was not Kime. So. Maybe in the future, if Kaim either gets, if there's a gimmick where they swamp out the, the back row maybe, or if there's content where we can't bring a back row, it can get more value. But in current game, it just doesn't have much value because Kaim is a back row unit for Earth. Speaking of which, I realize it's not a single Kaim built here, which is a big problem because Kaim is such a massive, massive buff to Earth that he should have his own grid because he's just that important of a character. Um, if you want to know more about Kaim grids, I don't have Kaim on any of my accounts, unfor unfortunately, but you can go type in DJ Salt if you have any questions about Earth. He has plenty of videos on Earth. I generally send anybody who has anything questions about Earth to him because he's like, He's in love with the elements, so let's go ask him. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say about Earth. I feel like they were lacking a lot here. A lot of these builds, while well, I think this, let's, let's let's start from the beginning, right? The good builds are this one, the Yggdrasil Omega build three. That was really hard to fuck up though. I think that's fine. Um, other than that, I think all the Titan builds are a waste of time. Um, I think the Yggdrasil's Omega build 2 is okay. This build is okay, and this is a waste of time. For Titan players, honestly, you're best at running Kime build. It's the cheapest viable grid that works everywhere. Even in 25 defense, it'll work decently. Um, will it be the best build in 25 defense? I don't know, but it should work pretty well in 25 defense. If Dark Magnet can do it, then with, um, if Dark Primal can do it, uh, Earth Mag Earth Primal, what Kimes to do fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does fine in 20 defense. So with the Earth ship and stuff, it should do fine in 25 defense. But we'll see when it comes out. But I do believe Earth uh, Earth Kime is such a big thing that all of these grids are kind of a waste of bars. At the end of the day, right, your bars need to give you back value. So when your most optimal build for Earth is a Highlander grid and it not being here is kind of questionable. Not only that, that the Highlander grid gives you a ton of options for weapons to put in the grid, which is really nice for health and stuff like that. So while these builds are cool and all, this is not Highlander build with Kime. It's that big of a difference. Not only does Kime give the damage cap up, unique modifier, he gives a massive defense bonus. And that what makes him easier on stamina builds than running without Kime, because you're missing on that stamina bonus. That's fine, the defense bonus. So, it's unfortunate, unfortunate. That's how I feel about it though. Leave me in the comments how you feel, what you think, um, and uh, we're halfway done. I was able to lower the time a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.